at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. We've got Bird. Johnson is out there with Wallace. Then it's Parrish. And it's Walton in at the four slot. Parrish. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Walker surveying the floor. Duncan high post. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Parker against Johnson. No good from Bird. Parker against Johnson. Ginobili outside. Willis with a screen on Wallace. Pass to Duncan. Wide open. That falls nice feed that time for Mono Ginobili. Yeah, you got to honor Duncan from the mid-range. When he's got space to shoot, he does not hesitate. Parker against Johnson. On the wing, Bird. Over Bowen. A nice shot by Bird. <laughs> you don't see that too often. The fadeaway shot when he's wide open. Wallace against Ginobili. Parker with a clean look. Gets the three-point of the fall. And that's a nice jump shot there by Parker. Caught it right in rhythm. Johnson surveying the floor. That's tipped, and he gets it back. Oh, wow. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Pass to Duncan. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Duncan's got his second bucket of the night. Extraordinary work from Parker to find his teammate for the open basket. His passing is just phenomenal. This is it to Walton. He dishes it to Bird. Puts it up. Lays it up and banks it in. Bird's got his second bucket. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Parker outside. Over Johnson. Duncan. It's good on the footback. And folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that back one. Anthony's checked in for Dennis Johnson. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Anthony against Parker. Three-pointer, Bird. That one doesn't drop. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. To the inside. Bowen shot is off. Celtics trail by three. Down low. And Bird with the basket on the assist by Anthony. Bird's got six points. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Parker passes to Ginobili. Here's Terminenko. Walton defending. And Walton sends it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense that he provides for this team? Kevin McHale checked in for the Celtics. Kevin McHale. And it's Parker with the ball, bringing it up for San Antonio. First quarter play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Anthony taking his time here. Here's Wallace. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Ginobili with a screen on Anthony. Here's Parker. No good on that one. Nice defense from Wallace. 
Anthony on the wing. Back to Bird from the arc. San Antonio with the rebound. Now the pass to Bowen. From downtown, rebounded by Anthony. And here's Boston. Pass to McHale. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Bowen, the pass to Parker. And here is Dermanenko. Bird cover. And the basket by Dermanenko. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. McHale with a screen on Parker. Bird outside. Picked by Anthony. Now here's Bird. Six points for him. Two on the clock. That three off target had some space there after the little pump fake. All is against Ginobili. Parker outside. A three. That shot's good on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got his third assist on the night. Anthony against Parker. On the wing, Burke. McHale outside. Ball's knocked loose. Parker outside. Ginobili outside. Duncan with his screen on Waltz. And the call will be against Gerald Waltz. That's his first, That's his first foul. And, and you first can see he just foul. didn't get squared up with his feet. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Duncan outside. Ice ball booming by San Antonio. Here's Ginobili. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for San Antonio. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. And also defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight, and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trying to stem the tide here. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. All right, Lincoln's coming on the defense. And Boston has possession. Trailing here by eight. Anthony kicks to Waltz. Parrish with it. Dermanenko on him. And it's Parrish missing. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. From deep. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. Duncan with the block. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Pass to Anthony to stop the drought. No good that time. It's the Spurs taking it the other way. To the middle. Here's Duncan. That shot, no good. Some solid defense there from McHale. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Harris, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That's his first And the Chief making his presence felt on that offensive backboard. Doesn't look like he's outworking you. That's when you see the ball drop through the net. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Both teams deciding to change it up. leading by 10. Here's Barry. There's a screen by Willis. Here's Ginobili, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force him to the line. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Here's Spurs, Manu Ginobili at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Walton's checked in for the Celtics. Bird comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. Both free throws, good for Ginobili. Celtics trail by 12. Now Payne, pass to Bird, three-pointer. It's hauled in by Willis. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going I love watching Grant go at the defense, daring them to get aggressive. It's his first trip to the line. 14 pounds. At the line for your Spurs, Jeremy Grant taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Grant. Well, he's born into a basketball family. I played with, with his uncle. But Jeremy Grant has paved his own path, becoming a highly sought-after wing. He secured the bag. Oh, yeah, $60 million contract in 2020. And Grant drops them both. Celtics trail by 14. Ainge with the ball. And there's the pass to Bird. And here is Ainge. McHale outside. Down to five on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Spurs leading by 14. Grant down low. He's guarded by McHale. Ginobili outside. There's a screen by Willis. Ginobili attacking. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Now, here is Ainge. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Bird, the pass to McHale. A shake. Not going to go that time. And the Spurs going the other way now. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Here's Ainge. Pass to Bird. Now, here's Walton. Here he goes. The basket, the bump, and the foul. Oh, what a play. 
That's his displaying intensity fight. right off the opening tee, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Foul. Danny Ainge. That's his first personal foul. Fifteen foul. One shot for your Spurs. Red Berry. One shot. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Celtics trail by 19. Bird outside. Walton a screen on Baylor. On the wing, Ainge. Two minutes in the the dish to Walton. Two minutes. Looking to end the run. On the clock. And it's blocked! And he keeps control of the ball. Ginobili bounce pass. Here's Barry. Payne covering. Willis with a screen on Ainge. Here's Ginobili. No good on that one. McHale with some nice D. Pass to Ainge. Back to Bird. Walton against Ginobili. They get it back. And it's Walton missing. Still plenty of time for him to contribute in this game, but it's a tough stretch he's going through. Passes it to Ginobili. Here's Barron. There's a screen by Willis. Driving in. And Walton sends it back. There's 49 seconds left in the first. The pass to McHale. The kick out to Ainge. The Celtics working the ball around now. No one covering. Larry Bird. Bird's got nine points. Three. Could there be any doubt? I mean, Bird's such a dead-eye shooter. Sometimes this guy practices threes with his eyes closed. Ginobili with the three. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Great three-point shooting here out of the game. That makes four makes already from long distance. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Ainge kicks to Payne. Pass to McHale. Shoots over Grant. McHale, that's good. Well, that's just how you draw it up, right? As easy as a look as they could find. Ginobili outside. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double digit advantage. Spurs lead by. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along, haven't they? Just stretching out the floor that first. Uh, they had the defense scrambling. But just wearing them out. I mean, when you space the floor like this, the defense has to run and expend energy. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Celtics. Walton is out there with Parrish. Then it's Payne. Then it's Garrett Temple. And it's Finney Smith in at the small forward position. Pass to Payne. Screen by Walton. Drives to the hoop. Payne can't hit. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Baylor dishes to Mills. Passes it to Barry. Willis down low. Walton's there. And that one drops. Willis. And the Spurs lead by 19. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. Oh, yeah. That's what you love about him. He shows no mercy even with the comfortable lead. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. And the pass to Barry. And here is Willis. Over Pierce. And blocked the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. 
Now here's Payne. Baylor defending. That one good for two. He's a quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Pass to Barry to the left wing. Here's Willis. The rebound by the Celtics. Payne looking around. Seven foot shot. Russell Blow's bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play. That's his second. And that's the kind of move that will always pay off, even against tight defense, like he was facing on that possession. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And some changes here for the Spurs. Duncan, he's checked in for Jeremy Grant. And Tony Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. And the Celtics also making a change. Wallace is checked in. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Now Parker, he's got eight. And the call will be against Carol Waltz. That's foul number two for him. Another foul to give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Parrish against Duncan. And again, unable to change momentum here. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for Boston. Only given up two points this quarter. Pass to Walt. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Here's Parker. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Parker's got 10 points. And that's just an all-star caliber move off the dribble by Parker that ultimately creates the shot. His quickness with the ball really nearly unparalleled. Finney Smith can't get it to go. Spurs leading by 13. Shot on the wing. And Parker gets it to go. The assist by Baylor. Parker's got four points now in the quarter. And looking like Parker is in that zone. Passes to Payne. Green by Parrish. Payne passes to Parrish. It's hauled in by Tony Parker. Parrish is gone. One for five from the field. 20%. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Celtics trail by 15. The pass to Wallace. to Payne over Parker and it comes off the front of the rim the setup's good that's the shot they're looking for but you can't get them all to go Baylor passes to Barry Terminenko with it Walton defending here's Finney Smith pass to Walton over Barry and the basket by Walton. Walton. Walton's got his second bucket of the game to go. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. A different look now for San Antonio. Bowen's checked in, and it's Ginobili in for Barry. The Celtics also changing it up. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Walton. Bird comes in for Dorian Finney-Smith. And Anthony subbed in for Cameron Payne. Ginobili against Wallace. Just five to shoot. No good that time. Excellent D there from Parrish. Parker against Anthony. McHale upside. Stolen by Ginobili. Here's Bowen. Excellent D there from Anthony. Celtics trail by 13. Pass to McHale. Back to Anthony. Up top, Bird. 
Covered by Duncan. Ginobili with the ball. He's got 10. Kicks to Duncan. Parker outside. Pocket six. Fires from deep. The offensive rebound. And here's Boston. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And it's Parrish finishing it off. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guy Still shaking. Passes it to Parker. Back to Ginobili. To the paint. And Parker gets it to go. The assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. There's the pass to McHale. And he uses the glass on the way. Man, they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Last game for the Spurs. They pick up the W against Brooklyn. Pass to Duncan. Termenenko with it. He's against McHale. Here's the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Knocked away. Parker with the steal. And there's the drive. Ginobili outside. Duncan with a screen on Wallace. Here's Ginobili. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. Yeah, and that mid-range game of Ginobili, so reliable. He is phenomenal at capitalizing from those spots on the floor. San Antonio making a switch here. Willis has checked in. Wallace looking for an opening. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Ginobili leading the charge. Let's it go from the wing. And McHale pulls it down. McHale's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Bird. Off the mark with the little step back, Johnny. And so it's Ginobili bringing it up now for San Antonio. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Parker passes to Ginobili. The shot will not fall. Nice defense from Wallace. Pass to Anthony. He kicks to Parrish. Six to shoot. And the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut to just 11 points in the basket from Bird. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Parker passes to Ginobili. Over Wallace. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Spurs lead by 13. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. Bird, the pass to Pierce. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. I mean, he makes plays like that in his... It's just far too easy. The Celtics making a switch here. Walton's checked in. And the new power ranking still in the first month of the season. Here's a chance to compare early returns. Look at Oklahoma City. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And San Antonio, they've had an interesting start to the year. Lately, they put together some nice wins, and you get the general sense that their confidence is growing. Parker, right side. Over McHale. Tries from 10. And it's set back by McHale. And they'll keep possession. And he makes that one. Celtics trail by 13. 
Wallace outside. From outside the arc. Rebound San Antonio. Ginobili finds Parker. Back to Ginobili. Fires for three. It's not going to go for him. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Anthony against Parker. Bird outside. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Just five on the clock. Here's McHale. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Duncan's got nine rebounds now tonight. Well, until he starts knocking down some shots, I don't think the deficit's going to get me small. And that one is off. Some solid defense there from McHale. Celtics trail by 13. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Parker with the steal. We've got 118 left in the first half of basketball. Kicks it to Genova. Inside. Here's Duncan. Connects on the nine-footer. 14 points for Tim Duncan. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Anthony against Parker. Wallace right side. Over Willis. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Wallace has got five points so far. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Willis with a screen on Anthony. Parker drives in. Walton with the steal. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Hits the three point bomb. Three Wallace points. has got five points now this quarter. They're having more success from three point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Wallace against Genova. Parker outside. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. And so we wrap up the first.